Right, let's look at variable configuration. Here we have to drag the probe down onto the metal and using the left mouse key we could move it here. Using the right mouse key we'll turn it, turn the probe around. Or we could use the cursor keys up and down to move it. If we click on the um, pipe button, we can enter different parameters for wall thickness and diameter, and then we can test the pipe. If we click on protractor, we can hide the protractor. Click on paint, and we can change the wall thickness of this pipe, or its uh, thickness. changing the diameter we must exit this first before we can test the weld we click on TKY and then click on paint we can change the angle of the TKY joint change the thickness of the can or the stub. We could then draw in a weld area like that. And we could draw in a black dotted line to represent the weld profile. We could draw a, an ASME block here And then we could be starting to test the weld again. Remember, it's left key or right key to change probe directions. Now, to put defects in this weld, we again click on defects here. But the system of drawing defects is different from the pipe mode. Here we draw the defects where we think we'd like them, for example, there. And then re-click on defects. And now we can test the weld, hoping to spot that defect. So now, okay, now that defect, that echo there, here, is representing this internal surface of this uh, TKY joint. The first echo is the back wall. The defect, not a good response. In fact, the response is this one here. Uh, that's better, we can see this one. That's a good response here. We could also load a picture or we could capture the background image if you've drawn a picture in another package. Or we could change the whole scale so it represents a small piece or change the scale so it represents a very large piece indeed.